is a drawing of the layout of the buildings. I've been asked quite a lot of questions in the comments about the layout and people are getting a little bit confused because there's quite a few buildings. I want to get a shot from the same angle, but I need to stand in the road, so I have to wait until all the traffic's gone. Guess I'm going to get run over. Yeah, there's a big truck coming. To do it very quickly from here, wait till we get the right angle. It would have been sort of like that, I think. widen the path a little bit here and then we're going to use some of the lumps of stone that are lying around various different places to make a little retaining wall so the pathway will still slope down to the river the rest of it will be leveled then put a thingy across there Stone across here, in, in between them two things there. What, one of the pieces we've got here somewhere? Yeah, I'll cut it to fit. Okay, right. so are you going to then gravel behind it? Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Let's stop the mud. So how high are we talking about? Well, I don't know. Just turning that into a step, a decent step, where it sort of pretty much is about an inch, is it? It's a couple of inches? Yeah, if we go sort of... Turn it to about 100 mil? If we go, yeah, 100 mil up here, yeah. Is, yeah. It stops and starts to gravel, and I haven't got that would be the super. Part. And then what? Whereabouts are we going here? Well, Adam will scrape this back. So is are we way. making yeah. this level up to the top of the wall? Is that the plan? Because that's going to be well, quite yes. a bit to hold back here. Well, yes. That's why we're going to use big stones. Yeah. And where are we going to? Where well, are we going to stop I, it? I fancy we'll stop it here with another stone, and you'll step from there down onto here. Oh, well, that, yeah, that's probably quite a nice idea, else it's going to take an awful lot of stones to get down there, isn't it? Yeah, well, we'll have stepping stones. Yeah. So we can do that later. No, what stepping stones would be fine. I can have it. a little path without coming out that sideway bit to what get some chickens. To do is to get the basics done first. The yeah. Canvas. Okay. But this is part of the black canvas, obviously, because we can't. So you want, you want this to go down three or four inches? Is that, is that yeah. pretty much where you're going? I'm thinking where I'm standing now. Well, it's not real flat though, is it? If we're going to do that, and get into there. We've all put stone there, we've got to bring the dirt down. Bring the That's dirt what down. I'm we're thinking. Below this, haven't we? Yeah. Let's do that then. Right. Let's okay. do that. And see what it looks like. Once we've dragged it out, we don't have a measure up here. Well, why don't we just see? Obviously, you're not cutting any pieces of stone, so see what you've got in the way of stone as to how far back you can come because you've got to get to the tree. You've got loads of that stone there, yeah. Yeah, I think we've got a lot of the square we ones, haven't we? Square ones that do yeah. yeah, I think that makes sense. But if we have to come up to here, then I won't. Well, you might just have to bank the grass up around the bottom of the tree. Right. 
We're just investigating how much stone and what size stone we've got. Because we want to utilise whatever we've got. But obviously we don't have machinery to cut stone. Um, so we've got plenty. I'll, yeah, I'll have to edit, <laughs> have to edit that bit out now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, scrape it back as much as you can. Um, it's exciting making your garden up as you go along and using what we've got and. But it is, it's amazing what you can do with a digger. <laughs> and obviously we're starting with a very blank canvas once this is all leveled out. Obviously we have a few trees dotted about, the big ones, but we've pulled out some old stumps. And then most of it will be seeded grass and then we'll decide where we're gonna put some beds and things. Yeah, this is such a nice way of doing it. I don't think I've ever had a garden from scratch. Obviously, we do have the bread oven building, the steps down to the river, and certain big trees. But it's nice to have some big trees. That one in the middle there by that big pile of earth. <laughs> Get out of the way, he means. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one there in the middle there is my sweet chestnut tree and then we have one over the by the wall there to mark that corner we do need a bit of shade and then we have a couple of bigger ones here I think we're going to remove that one which is actually growing out of the wall by the river and possibly this one by the bread oven house but we haven't quite decided all this yet It is very exciting to see things happening. <laughs> trying to squeeze through the pathway. Oh, Adam. Wow. That is really close. Watching this door. Ah. Last thing we want him to do is damage his digger. And because they've made a couple of giant piles, one in the other courtyard and one out here, and a few smaller piles. And I have been round with the metal detector, so I will film what I found. Um, but where he's doing some new digging now, I'm going to have to go around again. Especially down there by what we think is possibly the tower. By the side of the bread oven there. So there may be something interesting down there maybe some interesting things in the river perhaps if the river goes down slightly we'll, we'll detect in the river as well because we can do that with our detector but it's a bit deep at the moment we're finding some really good earth here actually which is quite surprising because a lot of this area is very stony oh mind your door Adam It's a bit tight. Now we've enlisted the help of the digger to try and get the last of these. Um... Oh, no wonder we couldn't get them out. Well, Adam can try and pull up the other ones along here if there's any saveable. Yep, they're going to be the same as that. 
Yeah, for some, why would somebody concrete them? Well, I suppose, I suppose to keep them in place. No, oh, what a shame. Yeah, you can just see them hiding under the ivy there, and I wonder we couldn't get them out. Yeah, there's a huge lump of concrete under there, I think. Yeah, look. Yeah, go on, mate. You can't, you can't hunt it. Can't help it. It's a massive lump of concrete underneath. Yeah, look, same. Yeah. We've managed to save a few. I don't know. They didn't concrete in the other ones that I managed to get out. And they actually slide, they slide together, they link together, so, yeah. But yeah, what a waste. They're all, I've been all the way along Yeah, the Tony's way. tried all, we can try again, but he's already tried these. Ah. Uh. Yeah, we think all these ones along this side of the path. I managed to get the ones out the other side. Yeah, they've got huge lumps of... Oh, we managed to get one. Excellent. Oh, look at the size of the concrete on it. Just see if they, if they come out, they come out. Right. Some of them will still slide out. I've got one. Another one saved. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for trying anyway. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a shame, but yeah, we can't do it, can we? Look, huge great lumps of concrete. So I won't be able to reuse them. Not without breaking them. Yeah, and that's already broken. Fiddlesticks. When we come to do it, when we come to clean up there, eh? I'm going to put the on his phone in the way so we can see what we're digging with. And we might just scrape it on the floor and just take it down that way for half a They don't have turf over here, not like we do in the UK, do they? I've never seen it. But then they don't tend to have lawns as much as we do, do they? I'll just start asking the question, won't I? Mind you, I think probably for this for this area, seed's going to be the easiest option anyway, isn't it? It's nice to sit by the river and watch people working. <laughs> I think I might have to move. <laughs> I have all this going on one side of me. And then I have... Tony busy doing work in front of me, in front of me, and then I have this right next to me. It's usually quite peaceful out here, but it's rather nice sitting here watching what's going on. Uh, there's nothing I can do to help for the moment. Oh, and guess what? Some more ivy. Do you want you? Shall I get your welding gauntlets, Tone? <laughs> it's getting you. Can you save a bit of my um, lilac, which is this? What do you want me to do with it? What? I want you to 
not chop it all. Well, that's exactly what I mean to do, but... Uh... No, it's, grow it's got a clump. Yes, so. It's a shrub. Ooh, I want to keep it. it. It's got well. seedlings as well. Can we dig some of them out then? No, I know, but I did ask you before about this, didn't I? There was only a couple of plants I wanted to keep. Okay. It's going to come into flower in a couple of months. Now, actually, I'm not sure if that is the right one. This is definitely... This is definitely lilac. But these leaves look a bit different, so it's probably a different type of shrub. That's definitely lilac there. You see these little ones, Tone? Oh, yeah. But I think that might be a different shrub, that one. I'm not sure what that is. I think there might be one down here that gets white flowers on it. Now, as I'm filming on this side of the bread oven house, if you look down to where the base of that is, where the water is, there's look, what looks like to be little tunnels or little... I'm not quite sure what they are, but... Um, yeah, they seem to be purpose-built by the look of it. I'm just wondering what they would have been for. Drainage or something, maybe? Hmm. I think I have to at least try to dig up some of this lilac um, before they finished. I'm sure that would be possible. I'll get the fork in a minute and I'll go. There's even huge ivy growing down to the water. Pardon? <laughs> we'll get to the end of the ivy one day, Tony. Down by the river at the end of a long day. Now, Tony has put two new stones at the top of our set of steps. And he's proceeding to build a little wall along so that we can level out the ground above it. So he's got a nice string line to keep his wall in a straight line. He's used, we're using up pieces of stone that we've already got. So is that going on its side? As is. All right, okay, but where the line is. Yeah. All right, okay. So you just lever it into place now? If you've got any other ideas, there'd be a certain uh, Well, I can't lift it. Um, obviously, you could try and turn it around on the barrow a little bit, but apart from that, I can't really help. Is it? Has it got to go higher? Okay. Uh, okay. So, if you tipped it flat, is it easier to move? No. Oh. So it's easier to move on its side, is it? Okay. Well, I can't really help then, can I? Unless you give me a lever. We've got something to roll it on. Oh, mind your legs. Ooh. Is that a fish I just saw? Yes, I just saw a fish, the first one. The water's really murky. I don't suppose you could see that. But where the sun's shining on it, I saw a little fish swimming. Oh, he's at the top. Can you see him? I 
can still see him. I can't. It's very difficult to see. Oh, there's more than one. Yeah, there's a few. Can you see them? They're skimming along the surface there, making rings. Actually, there's quite a big group of them. They're coming to the surface quite a bit, so there must be some food dropping on the surface. I'm trying to zoom in, but I, I suppose the reflection you won't be able to see. see them like little shadows under the water. Tom, there's a flock of fish, it's not a flock of fish is it? A shoal of fish um, over here. Yeah, did you just see it break the water? Yeah. They're not very big ones, they're a few inches long. Well, you do usually see quite a few in here and some bigger ones than that, much bigger. But it's just nice to see them, I haven't seen them for months. These stones are really heavy. Talking to my camera tone. Watch out for the speed bumps. Wishing you hadn't started this, aren't you? <laughs> right, I think I've got to help. I can't handle the camera and help. <laughs> I'll try and park it in the tree. Maybe we can do tree cam. Oh, there's too many branches. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, the work is on going out here. It's a little bit grey today. It's still dry though. And look at this. Now this is where my vegetable garden is going to be, my potter's here. So hopefully we can start building some raised beds shortly. Still a lot more to be levelled, there's a big pile of it there. But yeah, let's get in there. Now. Tony's just come back from the Bricko where he's been buying drain pipes and things and since he's been out let's get in there I'm going to film this for change, see if it works <laughs> I don't think you're going to knock that one over.
Right. Yeah, that's the Oh yes! <laughs> Let's go! In. Oh yeah! That's gonna go! Yes! Yay! Ah. Yeah, what happened? That little break up. <laughs> <laughs> now. Tony's just come back from the Bricko, where he's been buying drain pipes and things. And since he's been out, Adam has discovered a hole in the ground, which might be interesting. Now, as we can see here, he started do digging because we thought we'd have to put a trench in. And he's discovered something. Right. Hang on, they've got to look at something else first. But yes, he's lifted up this piece of stone and to find a hole underneath it. So we're going to investigate that shortly. Oh. Wow. Oh, another discovery. What is it? Tiles? Slabs? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> well, it, might, it might well be a little patio already It's done. probably just concreted from where it used to be animal enclosure out here. I don't know, because that looks like... But, there's a... It doesn't look like concrete, does it? Is that a wire? Oh! <laughs> oh, it's probably something you no, plugged it's a, in. It's a root. No! Oh, it I looks like a wire. Yeah, yeah, it's not a wire. Oh, my! Potentially, that could be a nice patio. This could be interesting, couldn't it? Get out more, John. <laughs> <laughs> want to get out more? I don't have time to get out more. That's what it is. That's um, that's a patio area. Hey. Uh, next one. Your problem number one. Still Why is that a problem? I mean, this could be a bonus. An observation. Yeah. An observation. So, obviously, we still need to uh, get in here, in that way or that way. Yeah, to break these. Adam's still trying to work out how he gets in here. Yeah. I, I think I, I will go. I can just about sit through there. I'll just about get through there. Like, right. So, yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, just wrap that way up and out there. So, we think we can get the little digger in this yeah. area. Just about. But yes, there could be a stone <laughs> patio down there. So did you manage to break that? Yes. Did you? Did you, you were right. right. So, yes, we'll investigate that further. Well, I didn't want to move it until you came back because you can't see. If I, well, if I, now you're here, 
Yeah. I'd just get hold of that stone and yeah. lift it slightly, and you see. Because if you look back that way, yeah. the other thing, it goes underneath. There's a, there's a hole. The other thing that might be quite interesting in this area and only in this area is these sort of tile things. But they're only here. These ones that look like chocolate bars. Yeah. What I'm saying is, would that have been used to cover up a drain or something? Because there's one down the side of there, oh, look. It's full of dirt. It looks like it goes back. Mm. That way. Can you actually see a pipe? No, I, I can see it's more channel, you know. Yes. Pipe. But that. But that oh, well, I see what you mean. Yeah, there's a void under there, isn't there? That there. Yeah, that's where we see them, didn't yeah. It lines up with the nice. outlets. Yeah. I reckon it is. And that's like a ch oblong channel, isn't it, at that end? Now, what we're talking about is these... Well, there's several along this outside wall here on the water level. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit. You can see there's several outlets along the bottom of that wall there. Some sort of channel. Which we always thought must be for some type of drainage. Which could be connected up to that one that he's just found by the back of the barn there. Let's go and see where they are. Oh, it's like a huge obstacle course out here. Now, just trying to dig it up a bit more. I do have another thing. Oh. Adam? Adam? That corner of that wall there is the outhouse and it has a drain underneath that as well so there's possibly something so else under there. It might be a poop chute. Well, yeah, it, could be. it might link up, is what I'm saying. It might do. They may well have had an outhouse here for this house. That's definitely that's definitely got a drain under there, hasn't it, Tony? Just behind that wall where you are standing is the toilet. Yeah, but it just, that's, it just goes down. It's like a long drop. If you think about it, it's right there behind this wall. Isn't it right here where we are? Yeah. Is that building? And it comes out. Oh, actually, it comes out in the direction of the river, we think. So uh, that might be here. I'm not sure which. Uh, I'm getting my directions bottled up now. So I think it probably goes in the direction of that. Oh, that's a huge stone. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ah, <that> is... <laughs> Look what's just arrived in my courtyard. That's a huge piece of machinery. Wow. <laughs> They're going to start work on the barn roof tomorrow. They're just dropping this off at the moment, I think. But yeah, things are starting to happen finally. It's taken a few months to organise things. Look at this, it's absolutely massive. It takes up most of my courtyard. Wow. So they will be starting work tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow afternoon. That'll be fun.